All right, hello everybody, happy Tuesday. I know that more of you hopped on, I'll say hi in just a sec. Um, welcome, I'm Gina Ogren, I'm the founder of Go Fitness Virtual, and we're getting ready to do the cardio circuit today. So um, I was telling the group that was on early, you wanna have a chair out, just so that when you're working behind that, if you happen to lose your balance, you have something to grab a hold of. Um, I've been doing that for a long, long, long time, so I suggest you do that. And then uh, we're going to alternate our cardio today with weight training, and um, we'll we'll start off with a warm up though to get you get you ready. Some of you may have been out for walks or something already today. I love that too. Um, so I just like to start as if everybody hasn't worked out. So we shall see how that that goes. So we'll get a nice good warm up in and uh, and get that heart rate up and hopefully burn a lot of calories as you're going through. Just pace yourself. You do you. Um, everybody is different. Some people are more conditioned than others, and some people may need to sit down. Um, that is fine too. Again, whatever works for you, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and slide my chair out of the way and I'll get the music started here. All right, let's march it out. Now I just shut the door, so you know what that's a sign for somebody to come scratching. Mm -hmm. We'll see how long it takes. Take it out wide. Good, tap back. A little stretch in the front of those hips. Good, now push forward. Yeah, I'm sure several of you watched the basketball game last night. The basketball game, right? Yes, I know Nancy and I did. I got a phone call though, Nancy, right at the end and I didn't see the end, which was a bummer. And I checked, I looked down at my phone right when I got off the phone call, it was a business call, so I had to take it. And uh, I saw that they won. So I was excited that they won though. Leg curls. And I'm sorry to all you Miami Heat fans. I know Sarah's not on yet. I don't know if she'll come today or not. Good, step touch. I have several Florida friends, so. Good, now we're gonna take the arms up if you can. Modify if you need to by keeping the elbows in. And then just taking your thumb to the outside of the shoulder, pinky down to your thigh. Keep going. And march it wide. Good, now tap in, elbow to knee. Okay, so I'm just doing the tap right now. Opening up our abs and back. Now bring that knee in. Yeah, it was fun for all of us Kansas City fans to uh, see Christian Brown play for the Nuggets. So he grew up in a high school about five minutes from where I live. So my son had the pleasure of playing him in basketball. Not cool. Nope. Yeah, that team was pretty good. They won state. They, <laughs> I think all four years. They, uh, not going to say they did a little recruiting, but they did a little recruiting. And tap back. So anyway, he, uh, he was amazing. Amazing. But we followed him at KU too, where the kids go to school. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. And he's just one of five players that has done that where they've won a college championship and in the next season, won with a professional team. I think my husband said he's with Magic Johnson and like, I can't remember who the other one was. Oh, I just said it not too long ago, but anyway. So it's a, it's a good, uh, good crowd to be with. Those five people are pretty, pretty well known. Bill Russell, I think that's who it was. All right, now tap it out. We're gonna get that rotation again. Just reach it. Super. 
Now come up, chest tight, high heel. Christy, I think that might be you, but I can't totally tell from here. Good, now reach up at that diagonal. And back to step touch, push it out. And press it down. Now we're gonna take one foot, cross it over. I bring my feet a little closer together, it helps with balance. Arms are coming up. Chest tight, if you wanna stay there, or take it back down, you can do that. I'm gonna take it up. Good, back to that step touch. This time we're gonna take one foot back and we're gonna do a bicep curl. Okay, now leg curls. And back to that step behind, step touch, but you're taking that toe tap behind. Again, just to stretch out the hip. Okay, now keep going back. We're just gonna change the arms. So we're coming across, chest tight. Stretches out the side of your body. So a lot of the warm-up exercises are actually stretching, but you're moving, getting the body going. And now we're gonna take it over. And march it in. All right, time to take one foot in front. We're gonna do some stretches. Heels down, hips back, reach it out. Shoulder height with that arm. Good, breathe in and exhale. Back tipped over. Breathe in and exhale. Good, hands on your waist. We're gonna tap the center. Now side to side. And tap center. Okay, that foot stays, other one comes back. Now we're gonna roll those shoulders back. Here we go, rock it forward, rock it back. Good, now take those arms up by your ears and lift that back leg. Keep it going. All right, take it up and hold it, find your balance. Good, arms come out. Now we're gonna drop that back foot. We're gonna take it heel toe. So as we lift the knee, we're gonna take it heel in front, toe back. Heel, toe, heel, toe. You can move those arms if you want. And rest, march it. All right, shake it out. Now we're gonna take the other leg in front, heel down, hips back. Reach it out. And breathe in and exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Good, hands on your waist, tap in center. Good, helps loosen up the ankle. When we take it side to side, you're getting it into the hip. And back to the top. All right, that foot stays in front, other one comes back. We're gonna roll those shoulders back. Here we go, forward, back. Hey, Diane. 
All right, now if you want to lift that back foot, reach those arms out. Good. Keep it going. Go ahead, two more. All right, now take it up and hold it. Find your balance. Good, arms come out. We're gonna drop that back foot. From here, we're gonna take that heel, toe. So actually, I'm gonna keep the arms out. Heel and toe. And I'll just kind of move them. One up, one down. And rest. Good, march it wide. Okay, we're gonna take the shoulder roll now that opens up our chest and back. Good, now the elbow lifts. And backstroke. Now the elbow. Shoulder roll. Keep it going. All right, now your feet are out. You're gonna take those hands right above the knees. Drop one shoulder, put lotion on. That was a mistake. I <laughs> And switch, that's probably why I'm hot. I always get hot when I put lotion on. Good, switch. And switch. Good, and center, round it, come on up. Deep breath in, exhale, breathe in. Exhale, one more. And rest, good job. Grab a drink. We'll take a quick commercial break and be right back. Christy, it was you. Go Fitness Virtual is more than just live virtual fitness classes. You'll also find Go Fitness University. We started Go Fitness University as a place to hold all of our brief lessons and focused educational content. Most are three to five minute videos. You'll find videos illustrating modifications to certain exercises and a few short morning stretching and warm up routines. And as we interview topical experts, those videos and articles will also become part of the library of content that we call Go Fitness University. Now water breaks over, enjoy class. Figure out exactly how to leave a message. You can send that thumbs up. All right. Oh, that cold water tastes good. Well, top done. Hey, Ruth, good to see you. Hi, Carolyn. All right, thank you guys for telling me you're on. Great to see you. All right, now we're marching. For now, we're gonna take one leg, we're gonna take it out, out, in, in. Okay, so we're gonna start up really tall, then as we go through, we'll take it out a little wider, okay? Hang on, let's do it. You know what? Um, I don't know, Marilyn. Marilyn asked how many points Christian had Brown last night. I didn't see the whole game, so I'm not sure. I saw him make at least four, but I think that was all I saw. Okay, ready? Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Good. It's a great question, Marilyn, but I just don't know the answer. Because I... Uh, I got stuck on a phone call and I just never saw the last, most of the last part of the game. So out, out, in, in. So I'm coming down a little lower. I'm extending my arms down. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. March it in. Okay, take those heels in front. We're just gonna reach down. Good. 
Oh yeah, now take it up, chest tight. Good, now we're gonna take a knee, lift, and we're gonna reach it down. Reach it across to the opposite knee. All right, march it in. Okay, so this time we're gonna take the other leg out. So we're out, out, in, in again, starting tall. I'll tell you when I'm gonna push my hips back, bend my knees and come a little lower and extend the arms. Out, out, in, in. Good, so you can stay up tall the whole time if you want. That is fine. Okay, now I'm gonna bend, take it down a little wider, so I'm out, out, in, in. So the in, in, I'm coming up tall, but as I step out, I'm bending those knees. Now I'm just gonna take the arms with it. And I'm just stepping out to the side. I'm using those legs though, so we're getting that heart rate up, because those are big muscles. Just don't make it as big. If your heart rate feels too high, slow it down. Last four, we got this. And heels in front, reaching it out. Let that heart rate come down. All right, now we're gonna take a knee lift and reach for that opposite knee. All right. All right, now I'm gonna take it to a kick, reaching with that opposite arm. I'm not really reaching down toward the leg, I'm more just extending my arm out chest height. And march wide. Okay, so now we're gonna take leg curls where the heel comes up to that rear end. All right, arms are coming out, then they're coming up. Good job. Keep it moving. Now you can keep the arms lower. This protects the shoulder a little bit more. If you want to take it up, you can take it up. I'm kind of bringing it back, crisscrossing one. As one heel comes back, then taking those arms up overhead. Good job. March it in. Good, okay, that'll get your heart rate up if you were taking those arms overhead with me, I know. Okay, now we're gonna tap back, bring that down just slightly. Reaching one arm out as that same foot taps back. Both arms up, it's gonna be up a little taller. This will take that heart rate back up because those arms are going overhead. So if you'd rather stay a little lower or press down, that might be a better place for you. Now from that tap back, we're going to a leg curl. Now the arms are coming out a little bit at the sides. We're gonna alternate them. Up and out. Woo! 
couple more. Come on, you got this. And march it in. Yes, let that heart rate come down. What do you say? Okay, on this next break, make sure you're drinking lots of water. And we're going to grab our weights next. So handheld weights. If you do not have handheld weights at your house, you can use water bottles. You can use anything that has a cans, anything with a little bit of resistance that's hopefully kind of the same size, but something that you can grip. Okay? Grab those. Hey, Anna. Oh, good. I hate to. I hope you're getting better. Yes. Oh, CB scored seven. Thank you, Nancy. There you go, Marilyn, seven. Yes. Okay, quick break. I'll be right back. Go Fitness Virtual is more than just live virtual fitness classes. Bernie's Technology Corner is where you can find technology tips and tricks and answers to many of your technology challenges. You can also find answers to other FAQs or frequently asked questions. Now enjoy the rest of the workout. Hopefully you feel like you get a good workout. I'm not sure if you're both on or not, but. All right. Whew, I am hot. How are you guys doing out there? Okay, I need water first. I left my weights over here. My fan is on high and it feels like it's on low right now. It's the craziest thing. Okay, so we're gonna take our weights in front of us. We're gonna step out to the side. Oh, honey, oh, I'm just hot. Okay, glad I'm not the only one, Terry. All right, so we're gonna take a step out. One weight goes between your legs as the other one goes on the outside of one leg. Then we're gonna curl up and we're gonna take it on the other side. Now, what I will tell you with every squat is you're tucking your tailbone under. Engage your tummy muscles, tuck your tailbone under. As you're pushing back, then you're gonna come up. Flat back, knees are not over your toes. Down and up, down and up, okay? Here we go. One in the middle, one outside. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Good job. Nice, last one. And rest. Okay, so we're gonna go right into our triceps. Elbows come up. This time, you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna take your palms back. Okay, so just kind of from the side. Palms rotate. So they're coming back where the palms are up. I like to show you different angles. See how my elbows stay up? They don't come forward at all. The only thing that comes forward are my weights in my hands. And then kick it back. Good. And rest. Okay, so now you're gonna have a choice on this row. Some of you are gonna be just fine with this one weight, okay? And you're gonna reach forward and you're gonna pull back. Okay, so you reach right toward the inside of one knee and then pull back and row it. I like to use a little bit more weight because I do this all the time and I have really long fingers. So I can hold, crisscross them and hold both in one hand. You cannot do that or you're trying to use some other, you sure can't take two cans of soup and hold them like that. You can't do it. So just use one, okay? So my, my open hand that I'm putting right above my knee, and of course, like I told you, I put lotion on so it wants to slide right down, but here we go. Well, I'll do the best I can. Reach forward by that knee and then pull back. So I'm not swaying my body. I'm just moving my arm. 
I have one person in my in-person class that does this whole body move, and I cannot get her to stop doing it. So, we've been together a long time. I say it every time, and she continues to do it her way. So, I'd appreciate it if you just did one, one arm. But again, I can't see you, so I don't know. And rest. All right, so now I'm taking that hand that I used as my free hand before. I'm grabbing a hold of the weights, either one or both is fine. I'm switching, so the other leg's in front. That hand is in there for support, or it's just holding the weight and right at the group of your leg. And I'm gonna pull back. Keep going, looking good. Take that elbow, lift it high. The weights come by your rib cage. There's four more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, bicep curls. We're gonna take some our weights in our palms. Elbows are in, but our palms are kinda out to the side. Okay, and we're gonna curl it up and take it down. One foot in front. Now, I know I'm gonna do stability in the next class, but I want you to balance on one leg if you can. Good, shoulders back, abs in. Come on, we're getting stronger. And switch those feet, keep going with the weights. If you need a break on your arms, take, it, take a little rest and start back up again. And rest that one weight down. One is gonna rest for a second. All right, now our feet are a little more than hip distance apart, toes pointed forward, tucking that tailbone, tightening up your core. You're gonna take one weight down, and we're coming up and you're gonna pass it. Keep going. Keep it up, keep it up. And rest. Okay, now you're holding that one weight. It's down, one foot front, one back. We're gonna raise it up, take it down. Just going right underneath your chin. You don't need to take it any higher than that. Now just switch those feet to other one in front. You don't have to lift it as high as even your belly button if you don't want to. And rest. Okay, grab that other way. Go ahead and set them down. Grab a drink. Quick commercial break. Gina and I are so happy to have you in the live fitness classes. However, if you can't make a live class, go to our library of recorded videos. At the top of the home screen, hover your mouse on the classes link, then hit the archived videos link. You'll be able to sort by class type. Enjoy the rest of class. And now it's time for more cardio. So it's gonna continue, march it out. All right, heels out to the side, bicep curls. Now I'm taking it doubles. Double one side. I'm taking a little bounce with that leg, so make sure your balance knee is bent. I always say that, but it's really the real deal. 
Now I'm gonna stretch one arm out in front, one arm out to the side. Super. Now I'm gonna reach both arms up. You don't wanna reach them up, keep one in front, one out to the side, going shoulder height or a little lower. Now I'm gonna take a double knee. Large and wide. All right. We're gonna take, place one hand like we're pushing down. Push down, push down. So we go to a tap. Now we're punching out center. Protect your face with one arm, reach out the other. Now reach up or modify and don't reach as high. Here we go, press down. And punch it out. Good, right in front, you got it, you got it. And reach it up. Just kind of swing those arms. You can keep them low. In a little closer. You can take it up shoulder height. That's it. That's it. If you want to take them up, you get a real good stretch in those tummy muscles. But just do it if it feels comfortable. All right, now we're gonna take it down. So one arm bends, one arm's out to the side. Good, now we're tapping back, swinging the arms a little lower. Good, letting that body recover. One arm in front, one arm back. Last four, three, two, one, march it in. Woo, deep breath, exhale. Okay, I don't know about you, but I need more drink. So let's grab a drink and then next are the bands. So you can use flat bands. Got a red one again, so I'm gonna use that today. So flat bands, or you can use ones with handles. Either way, works fine. If you don't have a band and you're new, don't worry about it. You can do all the moves without the band. The band just adds resistance, so you get a little bit more work in the muscles when you're using the resistance tubing. But you certainly do not need to have it. Okay, I'm gonna take it around back underneath those arms. All right, so we've got the handle and the band. Hold on. All right. So if you guys are on now, just make sure that you let me know that you were on. I super appreciate it. We've got stability class after this one, so remember that. We're gonna do 30 minutes of balance training. Uh, most of us need that, whether we think we do or not. Yeah, I know, I know. Tap, and you're gonna reach it center. And you're getting some in this class for sure. Because even right now, the side tap, we're basically going on one foot. So the other one's lifting up. Sometimes when we slow things down, you feel it a little bit more. Good, now we're pressing out. Good. Good. 
Now we're going to reach across. And shoulder height. Okay, I did want to mention, because Ellen and I were kind of talking about at the beginning of class, but um, like her insurance changed, so now she has Renew Active. Um, so if you've changed and you have Renew Active or Silver Sneakers, I would love to get those numbers from you so that you can get credit for being in class and I can get credit for you joining the class. So they just would really like to keep track of those things so they know who's using the benefit. It's a huge benefit, huge if you have it and you're using it. So you can get those numbers to me and you can just go to gofitnessvirtual.com and register by clicking become a member or start here and that gives you a place to record everything. If you want to reach out to me directly, I can help you through it. Or Ben can help you through it. He's a little more accessible than I am. I do a lot of personal training every day. A lot. So sometimes I'm not as available as he is. So it's been great to have him on board. We just need to use him. Now reach out. Keep going. Now step touch. This time we're going to take that chest press like we're giving a big hug. But I've had that happen a couple times recently that sometimes it was people switching from Silver Seekers to Renew Active or some other company and they came here or maybe you didn't have it before. So I just like to bring it up during class. And rest. Good job. Take it around front. So you've got the handle, but you've also got the band, okay? So that colored part of your band, you're gonna hold on there. We're gonna march our feet. And while we're marching, I just want you to extend one side. Here we go. Extend, extend. So I'm trying to straighten that arm. And switch. Switch. And switch. And switch. Switch. And rest, take it out wide. All right, we're still on, but I'm gonna walk my hands a little farther apart. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come into a little squat and then we're gonna take a small press out. This press out, you're keeping your elbows down. What I wanna make sure that you do is keep those shoulders down too. You're not supposed to raise up here, okay? That will hurt all these muscles going up to your neck. So you got him? Imagine my hands are on your shoulders behind you, saying don't raise up. All right, you ready? Here we go. Squat, little press out. It's not big, but use your shoulder blades. Ride those muscles around your back. Your arms are obviously helping too. Really isolate those shoulder blades. Good, come on. There's four, three, two, and one. Woo, yes. Set those down, what do you say? Okay, how are we doing on our time? Great. Let's go ahead and grab a drink. The next tool we're going to use is a ball. So with the ball, it's something I can grip so I can stand. Um, so when I'm, when I'm using it, I'm gripping it. If you want to use a small pillow, a stuffed animal, um, a hand towel, washcloth, whatever you're using, if you get hot, that's fine. 
All right, back to our march. Okay, from here, we're going to take a diagonal step out to the sides, and you're gonna extend and bring yourself back in, switch hands, and then the other side. Okay, so diagonal, bring it in, diagonal, reaching that arm out, shoulder height, pulling it back in. Good. Nice. Good job. Keep it up. Diagonal. And let's go one more time each side. And back to the march. Okay, take the ball in one hand or whatever you're using. So we're going to work this grip strength a little bit by starting out in front. We're going to circle around our, our waist, our midsection. So you're going to take the ball back with one hand, bring it forward with the other hand. Good, back and up. Keep going. Now if you want to make it bigger, you just lift a little bit higher. It's harder to do that. It really is. And rest. Okay, so now we're in the other hand. And we're going to take it back and up. Back and up. Do you guys remember this song? It's that last song on Grease. The musical, the movie. It's one of my favorites. Anything Grease was my favorite. Yes, absolutely anything. I had the big record, uh, played it to where it probably doesn't even play anymore. Okay, fingertips on. You're going to take it down and then chest tight. Breathe in down, exhale up. Okay, now you're going to reach up with one, bring it down, reach to the other. Now you may only reach part way. It's fine. Good. Keep it up. Chest lifted. And rest. Good. Shake those legs out. Good. All right. Now we're going to go back to the march. We just want you to keep the elbows in. We're going to circle in front. Now take it the other way. Okay, now if you can go around your head, take and circle the ball around your head. So think about going for one ear, then behind and around to the other. Otherwise, just circle like we were just doing in front of your tummy. And now take it the other way. Now, some of you are not going to be able to do that, and I know. That's why I did these circle ones first, so you could go back to that. Okay, now we're going to take that toe tap back, and we're going to take the ball, pass it from hand to hand as we're extending the arms back. Okay, now take it to a leg curl. Still passing that ball. So we're still kind of maintaining that fat burning zone even while we're doing work with the ball. Good. 
Good, keep stretching that arm back as far as it'll go. Now tap, tap. Four, three, two, one, and march it in. Good. Okay, go ahead and walk around to the front of your chair. All right, so the ball is between your legs. All right, we're gonna come down on two counts, up on two counts. I don't care how low you go. If you wanna take it to where your hamstrings touch the seat of the chair, you can do that, that's fine. Down, down, up, up. 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 One more. And rest. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the short sample of one of my Go Fitness Virtual fitness classes. I'm Gina Ogren, the founder of GoFitnessVirtual.com. And I'm John Ogren, Gina's husband and sidekick. If you like this sample of Gina's class, we hope you'll visit us at GoFitnessVirtual.com, where we have over 800 recorded fitness classes designed for active older adults. We also have live classes almost every day. That's right. Just go to GoFitnessVirtual.com and click the Get Started button to learn about becoming a member. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope to see you in class. You should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercise demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. If you are unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. Remember, it's your body and your responsibility. If you like this lesson, come visit us at GoFitnessVirtual.com.